aren't you guys so hello welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm kind of excited actually I'm really excited because I got my stuff in the mail yes my shop say stuff has finally arrived so we're gonna be trying out some new products today and I'm really excited it came with this big bubble thing um and I got clear up that I had I had already opened it, but I was waiting for you guys to actually like dive in and look at stuff. So I got um, 26 items. Got 26 items from off of the site. So it's in this big bubble wrap thing, which is cool. I kind of want to pop it, but I know it's going to be really loud. So I'm not going to do that. I got some skincare stuff. I'm not going to show you the skincare stuff because I'm saving that for another video. Yep, and that's kind of going to ruin the surprise. So we're not going to do that. Oof. Shaking the table. But I am going to show you the other stuff. The other stuff that I got. Got everything out of here. Okay, so. Got. I'm just going to show you guys the stuff that I got really quick. Okay, so I got um, the soft base eye primer. This is in a nude color. I got this. This is for like when I put on eyeshadow and stuff, you know. That could be fancy. I got two um, primers. I got one that's for no pores. Well, they're both for no pores. Um, one is a perfect filter. It minimizes pores. And the other one is a no pore. This is a mattifying um primer but they're both minimize the appearance of pores so i got these pretty decent size too for the price um i got two things of is this foundation no this is concealer i got a foundation and a concealer hope this is my color because if it's not it's gonna be an issue i mean not really but whatever so i got the natural finish liquid concealer medium to no covers this is in the color nude and then i got this pro wear foundation full coverage um uh, this is in i don't know what color this is in. oh natural beige got that and i got some matte powder um Probably gonna use this as a bronzer. And then I got an actual bronzer. These are both by the Grand Sante. Got these. This is the bronzer and this is the matte primer, the matte powder, sorry. And then I also got the setting powder. This is in the color Banana. And this is by AOA Studio. I got, oh, this is another primer, Clean Slate primer yeah this is i guess it's, it's just smooths out your skin it says to um make your makeup stay on longer we need that love that um and then i got i believe this is a brow pencil slim brow this is a slim brow pencil in the color medium brown this is really skinny <laughs> i got this and oh i also got a blush i got i love my pinks I love my pinks. I got a pink blush. That's by AOA. And this brow pencil is, oh, I believe this is by the, the Cruelty Free line. <clears throat> and then I got this lip gloss. This is by AOA Studio. This is the Diamond Lip Gloss in Girl Power. Really pretty. Then I got this mascara, it's by LA Colors, regular mascara. And then I got this fruity flavored gloss. I believe this is an apple, green apple probably, because it has an apple on it. Got that. Then I got me some tea tree oil. I got that for my hair. Mm -hmm. uh, I got these bath bombs. Um, I got this cake one, a sweet strawberry. Mm. This is 
sweet strawberry. And then I got this one in pomegranate. Oh, that smells really good. And then I got this eyeshadow palette. Ooh, it has 25 shades in it. It has matte colors, matte colors, shimmer colors, matte and shimmers in it. Let's open this up. I'm excited about this one. I got this because I wanted to explore more colors. Ooh. This is the packaging. I believe this is only like five bucks, I believe. Oh, this is nice. Probably gonna be trying this out today. I got this because for some reason I'm like, I wanna do yellow, yellow eye or whatever, something with yellow, something with colors. And these yellows are really pretty, so that's why I got that. And that's all I got for the face. So what I'm gonna do now, this camera got me going crazy. Got me checking every five seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is open up everything so that it's easily accessible so I can just go in, grab, and go. So I'll be back, I'm gonna do that really quick. And I'll be back. And we'll get started. All right, so we have everything open. So I'm gonna start with getting my mirror so I can see what the heck I'm doing. <clears throat> Cool, cute. Oh, child, you can see my legs. Cover that up. <laughs> ah, this is not the best, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry. I'm trying to think which primer do I want to use? This any mini money mode, okay? We have three primers. Kind of wanna use the no pore one, but let's see. Last I need more catchy tiger bastard. If you have let them go, my mama told me to pick the very best one and you are not it. Any mini mini more catchy tiger bastard. If you have let them go, my mama told me to pick the very best one and you are not. Any mini mini more catchy tiger bastard. If you have let them go, my mama told me to pick the very best one and you are not it. Any, 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 use this one, any, 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 like any, 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 I don't want to, smells really good. It smells really good. I don't want to judge a book by its cover though. It doesn't seem too oily skin friendly. I will say that, but let's see how, the app, how it like dries down. If it's any different. It smells like a man, like Axe body wash. I'm not against it, but it's kind of weird that it smells like that. I guess it minimizes my pores. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it feels really good on the skin. It just doesn't seem like it's very oily, skin friendly, is what I'm saying. It doesn't really seem like that. I have these brushes that I already had from, these are from Shop Missy, but I already, I already had these brushes. That's why I didn't order any more. So we're just gonna use those brushes. And what are you doing, ma'am? <gasps> Ooh, okay, it's getting hot in here. I don't know why I started recording with a hoodie on. What was I thinking? I'm gonna go in. Oh, it has a spoolie on the under end of this. Okay, this is really tiny. Reminds me of the e.l.f. one. Actually, I think it's tinier, smaller than the e.l.f. one. So this is the e.l.f. one, the white one, and then the black one is the shop is A one. It's actually tinier than the e.l.f. one, it's skinnier. Don't really know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess we're gonna find out. Hopefully, you guys can see me, but I kinda want y'all to see the application a little better than being so far away. It, it does really light strokes. It's not very uh -uh, pigmented. 
I mean, but I guess that's not a bad thing because you can build it up to that point. Maybe I just didn't get a dark enough color. I mean, it does something. It does something. It's not bad. I actually like it because sometimes, okay, here. Sometimes I go overboard with my brows and this will be a good way to like, for me not to go overboard. Didn't do bad. I think once I like clean my brows up and stuff, it'll be cool. This just broke. It just broke. Okay, let's not put so much out at one time. How about that? Oh, and but it's a dollar. Can't really expect much from it, but I didn't think it was gonna break. If you guys saw my last video then you know i don't like to put product at the front of my brows i always put it just at the end uh, because i like the look it's just it's a personal preference okay brows are done i'm going to i only got one concealer so i only have a choice to use one concealer so we're going to use that and see what that do um i guess this is a cool color yes i'm using the brush again don't judge me okay And it's a little light, but it's not the end of the world. Just I can deal with it. I think I got the the um the tone of it okay. I'm not mad about that. I always go too high up in the front. Okay. That's an okay shade, I guess. Don't know how it's picking up on camera, but in person, it looks okay. Okay. And I don't usually put anything on the top of my brows. I let the foundation do that. So, speaking of foundation, oh, I think I only have one foundation. Okay, never mind. So, oh, so it kind of, it dried down matte, actually. The primer. So, I would say it is, it just moisturizes your skin, which isn't, isn't bad for um, oily skin. I mean, our skin still needs to be moisturized. It just doesn't need to be overly oily. Okay, I'm kind of scared. <sighs> what in the world? Oh no, honey. <laughs> oh no, honey. Oh no. What's that, what's that, um, TikTok? Is it TikTok? Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. That's this, man. I, you're probably don't even know what I'm talking about. You might even know what I'm talking about. This is not it. This is not it. This looks like the same shade as a concealer. Oh no. And it's supposed to be full coverage. I mean, I didn't put on a lot, but still. Shouldn't it cover more than this? Shouldn't it cover more than this? Do I not know about full full coverage concealers? I mean, see, I'm calling it concealer because that's <laughs> that's what it is. It's a concealer shade to me. It looks like the exact same shade as a concealer. I would mix this with another foundation or something, but listen, gotta see it through. Gotta see it through. If we come out looking like who did what and why. Then that's just what it is because this is a full face of shot miss A, okay? A full face of shot miss A. And no other product should be involved in this full face. Except for a setting spray, because I I didn't get a setting spray, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna use a cheap one, so it should be okay, right? It should be okay, right? Right? Or should I just not use it? I don't know. I may not wanna set this face after we done. I may just wanna wash it and have all. To be honest with you, not even gonna lie to you. Not even gonna lie. This is not it, sis. This is not it. Okay, let's just go on with concealer. Let's just go on with concealer. I'm not gonna put, I was not gonna put that much, but it just squeezed out. I'm gonna apply the same way that I applied it before in my last video. I'm gonna keep mentioning my last video because if I'm if I'm not gonna promote myself, who's gonna promote me? Who's gonna promote me? Nobody. I gotta promote myself. Let's just blend this out, shall we? Take it down some, Lord Jesus. 
that's not a bad shade. Now, I don't know if this isn't a bad shade on top of this foundation or if this just isn't a bad shade in general. But right now, it's not a bad shade. I'm taking a beauty blender. This is from Shop Mesa as well. And I'm just blending out the edge of my nose because it seemed like a lot of product was dragging up there. So I need to clean these brushes for real. I need to clean this sponge. Uh, I need to do a lot of things that just haven't gotten done yet. But hey, that's life, right? It's my life. <laughs> it's my life. Okay. Let's just blend this, the edges. Uh -huh. Make those disappear. You're going with the foundation brush, but whatever's left over of this foundation, this atrocity, and it's gonna like blend the edges so there's no like harsh lines. You know, this may not be the best like shades, but um, I'm gonna still make sure it's blended out because we can only look so crazy. I don't wanna look crazy in the blending category and in the shades category. So one of these have to be okay, have to be acceptable, so. I gotta come with the juice. I gotta come with the juice. Okay, next thing, next thing, powder. Uh -uh, so this is, oh, when I first opened it, you want to have all the powder in the world to pop out. Now I don't know I want to come out. Ironic. All right, this isn't a, brush from Shop Mise, but it's my favorite powder brush, so. If you saw my faces that I just made, you didn't. Okay, now probably going to use this shade. This is, this is also a setting powder, a powder, matte powder. I'm just going to use that for like the rest of my face to see if it gives me a little color that's kind of non-existent right now. That didn't really do much, but that's okay. Okay, this isn't a Shamise brush either, but... I'm gonna use it because the brush that came with this, this is supposed to be a bronzer brush. That's supposed to be a bronzer brush. This looks like it's pink. This is what we got, okay? It's what we got. We gotta use what we got. I don't know what's going on with this lace. Like, why is it darker than usual? I really don't need it down here, but let's be extra today. Can we be extra once in our lives? I give myself a pass for today. And then I'm gonna go in with the blush using the same brush. Might have did a little too much here. Oh, my eyebrow itches. Might have did a little too much, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because I'm not washing it off right now. I'm not washing it off right now. Oh, I need to find me a good setting spray. Well, not a good one, but the cheapest one that I have, so. Give me one second. So I was in the midst of searching for my things. I found that the Elf one was probably the cheapest setting spray. So we're gonna just go ahead and spray this now. Now 
your smile. And while that dries down, I'm just gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with my eye primer because I kinda wanna do eyeshadow today. So, that's what we're gonna do, sis. So come along for the ride, come on. Come on. Why did I put it all the way down here? I don't know. But what's done is done. Can't really go back now. Let's go for a crazy eye look because I've never done like a crazy eye look. So let's do it. Okay. Um, going to try to use a lot of the colors in this palette. A lot of the colors in this palette. Um, so yeah, for someone who doesn't really do eyeshadow, wish me luck because I'm gonna need it. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm not gonna use all the colors in this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm just not. Probably gonna do like a yellow, green, and blue look. So like using bam, 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 bam. Maybe bam. Yeah, we're gonna use those colors. So I'm gonna start with like a transition color of some sort. So we're just gonna go in with this light brown here to start off and just like put that on the crease. Does that show up, sis? I guess. Um, not really much of a transition color, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Told you I don't even do eyeshadow. This is probably gonna be a fail, but hey, hey, we're learning over here. No judgments, no judgments. Okay, and I kind of maybe want to do like a dark to light type of situation, which kind of doesn't make sense why I did that transition, or is it? I don't know. But we're gonna start with the, this blue, and then we're gonna go all the way to the bright colors. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's do it. Oh, I don't know if that's just a lot of fallout, or if this color is really pigmented. Oh. So let's just pack the color on and then I'll go back in and blend. But what I do to one eye, I'm gonna do to the other because my mental, my brain, my memory, it's not that great. I'm not gonna remember the exact steps I took from one eye to the other, so. I mean, it was only five bucks, so I can't really expect much from it. Probably should've did the eye look first. <laughs> Probably should've did the eye look first. No, not. I mean, there's not that much fallout on my face, so. I think we're good. We're gonna go back in with that transition color and kind of blend out the edges. It's not so harsh of a line up here, at least I think that's what I'm doing. Chow, just some lighter blue. I'm gonna pack that right next to it. Definitely gonna have to wash these brushes after this. It kind of looks like the same color, but hey. Okay. That's not the right brush for that. It's just kind of wiped off the excess blue. We're gonna go with this green color. This palette isn't really that pigmented, but I don't know what I was expecting from Five Dollar Palette. 
It's not bad though. I'm gonna go on with this, the lighter blue color. And I'm gonna like add that color back in here because it's kind of lost. It's kind of lost. Let's find it. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's going all the way to the eyebrow. Okay, so this is what we got so far. I literally just been packing on the colors and then like going back in and blending everything together. I'm thinking I may want to do like something like a cut crease or something because yeah just because i feel like it'll kind of look better maybe i don't know who knows not me i'm not a makeup artist or anything I really know what i'm doing as far as like eyeshadows i can make my base look good but i'm gonna put on some eyeshadow child you lost me okay you lost me and then my camera died so i had to so my new battery came in today, so I don't have to wait for my the battery that came with the camera to charge. So that's good, right? We can just swap a do, swap a do it out, and just get the new battery and just keep on filming. Don't even have to stop. Which freaking don't even have to stop at all. So yeah, I'm thinking I may want to do something like a cut crease. I don't know. I feel like it'll look cool. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it'll look cool? Or am I like way over my head here? Am I, am I like way in left field? It's just the fact that I feel like it looks messy and I don't really like that. Let's just do it. And I'll just put another color on my crease. Clearly, I'm gonna to have to fix my bronzer again. That's okay. And clearly, I put that cut crease up too high. Hold on. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. At this point, we're just experimenting. So, whatever goes, goes. Whatever happens, happens. Just gotta try to match this eye up with the other eye, which I feel like I'm already going too high. Or maybe not. I don't freaking know, y'all. I feel like, ah, oh, it's okay, that's okay. Stop rushing, stop being messy. Just take your time. I edited nothing, none of this out because clearly you know and I know. I am nowhere near the expert at this, this eyeshadow. How do y'all ever see me do an eyeshadow? We in. So listen, it is what it is. That's gonna be my motto for this whole video. It is what it is. Um, cause yeah, clearly, okay, just stop. Just stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm just gonna like go back over like the top portion with the colors again just to like uh, fix it or try to fix it. I don't know what I thought I was about to do. So this is a joke. I'm gonna take this off and come back and we're gonna figure something else out because I cannot end this video looking this crazy. I just, I can't, I can't. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so while I was in the middle of trying to wipe this makeup look off, this eyeshadow, which I didn't even get all of it off, um, when I took my contact out, it ripped, and that was like my last pair of contacts, and my glasses are broken, so I have no way of seeing anything, so 
I'm really going to try to just like cover this up really quick um, and just do something like simple. So I don't really want to end this video on like a bad note or anything, but like not being able to see is going to make it really difficult. And it took off like half my eyebrow and my camera is about to die. So let's hope this just, let's just hope. So I'm just going to go in and do what I do best. And I'm just going to go in with like these brown shades and just maybe this shade. So these, these brown shades and maybe this shade to see if I can make something happen here. Hopefully, so I'm gonna go in with this lighter brown, the lighter brown shade first, and use that like kind of as a transition color, and like put that in the outer view as well. Took off half my brow, so I'm gonna have to put my brow back on. I'm not really gonna worry too much about my under eye because it took off some of my under eye too, but yeah, I'm not really gonna worry about that. I'm gonna have to fix my lace though because my lace looks a hot mess. And again, you guys, I can't see anything, so please bear with me. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to keep an eye out for my battery so it doesn't die and I don't like finish the look because I don't have a viewfinder or anything, so I can't really see anything. <laughs> I can't see when it stops recording and like I can't see when or if it dies. I think I, it makes a noise when it shuts off, so yeah. I think, I hope it makes a noise. I know it normally does when I shut it off, but I never have had it like die on me. So yeah. And to like deepen up this crease on the outer corner. So I used, I used this color just now. And I'm gonna go on with this darker color here to like deepen it up a little bit. Don't mind my squinting y'all. I can't see a thing, oh my goodness. And for some reason, I've convinced my mind that squinting helps, so. And I'm gonna keep this, the darker color, like on the outer V, the outer corner, the outer, whatever you call it, the outer portion of the eye. I don't really wanna bring that in to the, the center because, you know, if I haven't learned anything, you wanna keep this area kinda light. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I had already recorded an ending for this video, but I didn't like it. It was really negative, and I don't really want to bring negativity on my channel. Stuff happens. Just have to deal with it. It's going to be hard um, for the next couple of weeks because I don't have a doctor's appointment until the 14th. So I'm going to be blind until then. Um, but like I said, it's not the end of the world. And I started my job training today. How convenient, right? How convenient. But it's okay. This woosa. Woosa. Everything's gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna go on with a different color though, like to spice it up a little bit. But what color would it go? Hmm. Maybe I'll do like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm I don't I don't I don't wanna mess it up. I'm so scared to mess it up. I feel like this green would be really pretty, but that would mean I would have to add some green to the eye look. That's not a problem. I'll, do, I'll add a little bit of green to the eye look, so then when I add this green sparkly glitter color, it'll kind of go together. So I'm just going to go in with this green, like kind of just over it, give it some kind of green look. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something. To give it a pop of green, I guess. But I'm kind of liking this, the brown color, so I don't really want to get rid of that completely. Kind of dulled down the green a little bit to like a pretty like olive green, I want to say. It's not bad though. I don't mind it. I think that's okay. This isn't really the best brush to like blend with. I really don't know what kind of brush this is. I don't know, I have no idea. I'm gonna do like, I guess, a halo effect maybe. Honestly, I'm just winging it. So browns were a good base to start with because the green is showing up nicely. <laughs> it's not really pigmented, but I mean, it's not really like 
showing up like really like a, a bright green like it is in the pan but I don't mind that at all so then in the middle I'm gonna go in with the green the, the glitter color that I showed you guys go with that in the middle portion only and I'm just gonna bring that up a little bit like bring it up into the crease area just a tad to add to the effect of whatever I'm trying to create here. I have no idea really. And then I'm going back in with that same brush and just apply some more green to the outer portion. I have to work to get this. One thing about this eyeshadow, this stuff is hard to get off, man. I don't know if it's because I added, oh, it might be because I added that, because I added, bear with me, I can't see, this eye primer. Oh, I didn't think of that. Because I don't usually use an eye primer. Being that I can't really see, I don't think this looks bad. I won't be able to tell until I look back at the footage to see. It's like, girl, this ain't it. Or if it's actually nice. I feel like this is better than whatever the hell I was trying to put on my eyes before. I don't know what the heck that was, honestly. That was a hot mess. And then I'm just gonna apply the green. I'm just gonna apply like the same way I did on the top, like green on the outer corner, in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna add the glitter shade to the middle. I guess that's a good thing that, um, that foundation, I mean the concealer, got all over the, um, that I wiped all the concealer off the bottom because I can just go back in and like kind of clean, clean it up a little bit around the edges and just like set it again. Okay, but ma'am, why is it green? All I wanted to do was clean up my under eye and I end up with green under eyes. All I wanted to do was clean up my under eyes with some concealer. Oh Lord, why did I have to be blind? Why? Now my under eyes look crazy. Now my under eyes look, why did you, who told you to stick to the mirror, sir? Who told you to stick to the mirror? <sighs> woosa, 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 woosa. Let me just, because I'm, <laughs> I'm over, I'm over this look. I look like, I look like the Grinch. I look like, I mean, like the eye look. Okay, so I gotta make this quick because my SD card was full, but my battery's about to die, but my other battery just died. So yeah, I'm gonna make this quick. I would call this video, I mean, I wouldn't call it a fail, but I would call it a fail because a lot of failed things happened. But all in all, I think the look isn't horrible despite the green under eyes and everything. I think we look okay. I will have to play this footage back to see exactly how we look. And also I feel like this video was like dumb long for no reason. But hey, you'll get a long video. Hopefully you enjoy it. You better watch the whole thing. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up because it was stressful. And I gotta fix my lace now. Um, while being blind, so that should be fun, right? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Wish me luck on my journeys ahead. And, oh, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe because, yeah, I do this for you guys. Not for me. I do this for all 204 of you. Yeah, I love you all. <laughs> Let me know down below what you think about the look and how the video turned out. Hello. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.